you can't you can't grasp at like the two black people you know in your life and then use them as the like the seer of all things black like just because like, you have to look at like the overall implications of what you're doing you can't not be racist because you have a black friend just because you have a black friend doesn't mean you're not racist in fact in your head you could very easily internalize oh i hate black people but this one is one of the good ones the amount of times i've heard that in my life oh you're one of the good ones you're not that kind of black person or even heck let me this is this is something that will probably maybe or maybe may not resonate with you because maybe about a year or two ago i ended up shooting a tweet out to like a bunch of black commentators in smash um and granted at the time i won't say like i'm a large commentator now i guess i'm larger than i was back then but i still wasn't like you know whatever i wasn't like revered among everyone in smash i was just kind of like oh i see him at tournaments sometimes like yeah i like his commentary whatever and something i was talking about is like you get very used to as a black person having to code switch depending on like who the audience you're in front of is right like mm -hmm. if i'm like oh hi how are you doing mrs taylor oh you're having a great day that's wonderful so so happy to see you because if i talk to mrs taylor like this she won't think i'm a threat and then i can go about my actual life when i start talking to my bros and i'm like what's actually what's good you know what i mean but like that's a very natural part of the black experience and i was talking about how on commentary i didn't know how i wanted to present myself to my viewers because i was so used to growing up in a scenario where if i talk quote unquote white i will be received as more successful and educated eventually i said screw it i don't care i'm just gonna talk how i want to talk and if y'all with it y'all with it but it's like one of those things where it gets so ingrained about what is the white experience for the black man that at some point you're like wait hold on bro this 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 is whack as hell <laughs> like, why, why do i gotta do that but yep. and especially in the smash community everyone I, i've been saying this from day one but like whether it comes to like any kind of medium for black culture whether it's the music whether it's the the, the the way in which we speak colloquially with other people from our community it always ends up being um god what is that word why can i not remember that word right now yo bam what's that word for when people steal shit? <laughs> the people steal what cop appropriated appropriated <laughs> appropriated <laughs> appropriated yeah it always ends up being appropriated and that, that that's equally as true in the smash community like you know we don't really care as much you know because we're, we're all just jam we're all just trying to play video games but it's just like just by the fact that like if i have one white commentator say whoa that was a fantastic back air and i got this other black commentator who just like shooting the shit and he's like damn bro that back air was kind of nice i was gonna be like yo that commentator was dope and i'm like bro i said the exact same thing but but y'all sensationalize black culture to a degree where if it just sound a little different than what you're used to it's that much better to you yeah no facts absolute <laughs> facts so it's like there's so many little th things that we have to look at, right? And then they lead into the greater story here and what's going on. So it's very important for us to keep it a buck in all aspects, man. All aspects. Dude, hey, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my boy, I'm, yo, I'm watching my boy, Big, Big D. D. <laughs> yo, he, yo, he, he coming with the truth. But of course, my man, Luis. Out here in NorCal, man, I, that, this is my home now. So you know, I, I, I got to root for my boy. I got to see him do well. But man, you don't see ICs like this, man. You don't see it at all. Even so far in this game's life, man. Now you know, you still don't see this kind of style like at all. So I, I'm always excited to see Big D go at it, man, and see what he does with the character. Really tries to push the meta in terms of like what's done in a tournament uh, standpoint. Character is sick. I never want them to be good. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like one of those characters where it's like, man, you're dope, but I hope you're never actually like completely figured out because then it's not going to be a good time for anyone else. But yeah. I, I like seeing Big D chef it up. Yeah. I mean, like, the thing is kind of cool though. Like, I'm glad that it's like handoffs and stuff. The handoff stuff has always been kind of cool. Um, I, I'm, I'm down with that stuff uh, versus like, like wobbling is a whole different situation. Uh, so it, it's nice to see 
even like some of the crazy stuff that's like really really broken for the character still looks kind of nice so uh, i appreciate that beautiful stuff there with force smash of course we already know the classic if you're going up against ic's you separate and destroy um it's the same thing what the system is doing to us <laughs> to be honest <laughs> everyone getting separated and then destroying people as they go so <laughs> which is why we need to be unified but uh, anyways back to smash <laughs> bear is gonna close out no not yet <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And, and there we have it. <laughs> <laughs> da 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 damn. The IC. Hey, bro. You gotta treat the ICs like like busing back in the day, you know what I mean? Like you gotta <laughs> That's true. Gotta man. Split them up. Gotta split them up, dude. That's how they do us. Yo, fatality, we appreciate you, bro. Always definitely see you all once the vaccine is out <laughs> that's the only way man be honestly everyone be safe be freaking safe even out there going to protest and stuff too it was pretty cool uh, I, I went out with uh my red bull team those guys i've been absolutely amazing and uh we went helped clean up oakland and stuff and do our thing and then help like protest and stuff as well I'm definitely going to try to go out there again sometime soon, probably uh, maybe this upcoming weekend to really support the cause. But so it's great when you have people from your work as well, understanding like what we can do and like trying to play a big part in it and uh, having a welcoming, uh, beautiful environment, with diverse people and all of us coming there, like appreciating everyone for their perfections and imperfections and fighting for equality and what we need right now. So it's always a wonderful thing. Oh, man, Luis, stick with this Palu. <laughs> I, I like the Palu. I think the character is really, really good at disrupting ICs. Bear is really, really nice. He can combat a lot of the the disjoints you'll see from the ICs, of course. And man, this like kind of like sheer power coming from like Palu. Like up smash is really good in circumstances. Force smashing through really early. Nair is amazing for picking them up. But man, that don't even matter to Big D. <laughs> Clap, clap, city, bro. That's what I'm saying. The power of unity, man. This is what we need. Look at this. Yo, oh, ice climbers when, represent the when, movement. When brothers and sisters are fighting together, man. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> Y'all lucky, man. It's a struggle, man. Dag. Because what is it? I saw a thing that was like, Y'all lucky black people aren't looking for revenge. And that's facts. <laughs> uh, that, that, that is facts. Like, it's not like we're out here like, oh, man, like, oh, y'all put us in slavery for X amount of years. Well, we about to do the same to you, bro. We're like, no, like, that was that was messed up. We hate that y'all did that. But, like, we just trying to keep it equal now. <laughs> I like, guess like, cool. we, we understand. Want. That's all we want, man. Keep it equal and keep it real for all of us. That's all. And then that's what all we should ever want. All of us. <laughs> right? We should all continue to move for that. That shouldn't be that crazy. That shouldn't be that hard. And it, it's just crazy when people are like, oh, well, there. It's like, I mean, you, you don't want happiness, man? <laughs> you don't want us to be all good? I'm <laughs> you, know, you, wanna, you don't want to uh, move towards a better world? I see. And it's not like it's new. You know? Like, it's, it's not yeah. new. Like, I, I don't, you know, yeah, if it's no. new. Anyway. Oh, okay. So this one, this one is always comes up, and this is like makes zero sense to me. Africans sold slaves to the white man when slavery was legal. Yes, and that also was terrible. Yeah, <laughs> the end. <laughs> like, that's, like, that's it. Of that. Yeah, that's it. Like when people say that, like, well, how about that? Like, yeah, that was terrible because <laughs> slavery in any capacity. <laughs> was bad the yeah, end. we're not defending like, that shit like, like it's like people, yeah I, I don't understand people make say that and then like i feel like they just like i, I feel like i can feel him at his computer crossing his hands and being like ah got him <laughs> <laughs> oh what's now <laughs> bet, bet he actually don't care about other lives <laughs> arms crossed like bro <laughs> what, uh, yeah that was wrong <laughs> you're, you're like what, what do you want <laughs> like i would fight against that too <laughs> stupid and make it like that's not hype. Guess what? You you want to know something? I am Nigerian, right? A lot of stuff came from West Africa. So probably someone in my family line that may have done that. And also, I am Jamaican, so people from my family line were the ones sold. Sick. <laughs> like you know, like <laughs> that's terrible. The whole point is those things are terrible and shouldn't happen. You don't say like 
it, you know, it's like this, they say, right? Like, you know, why, why, if you take out, like, if one eye, right, you take out both eyes and we're all blind, right? Like, right. I, it, it, I'm not going to be in a situation where it's like, oh, well, you know what? This is bad. Oh, well, this is bad. So, but this one was bad too. Yeah. Oh, I, I guess you're right. Since they're both bad, then we should all just be bad. No, like, it's <laughs> all terrible and we should change that. All right. That means regardless. All right. If I see if there is a black man running around and they want to go ahead and kill like every white person, stuff like that, guess what? That person's wrong and that person should be locked up. And that's what should happen. <laughs> like, and I will be for that because I want human rights. Mm -hmm. I want everyone to be good. All right. However, the circumstance of right now is that's not what's happening. It's currently black people are getting killed like disproportionately right we're getting less money to our school systems disproportionately right if you have a black name you're three times less likely to uh get uh like calls back for an interview despite having the same credentials as your white counterpart Facts. so that's what we're fighting against <laughs> right and if slavery comes back around from black people like passing people then they should get jammed too no, I, I mean this is a, this is a thing, Martin, dude, and I appreciate you speaking out and saying something. I, I honestly do. You know, it, it's one of those things where it's not like yes, I, I never say that you're wrong. That like, you didn't say that I was wrong, but you said like you got attacked. Um, the point is, when you see a situation that's an issue, and you turn around and be like, "Oh well, this person did this," like that's not the point. That. It, this is that is all wrong and this is what's happening right now if i could go back in time and stop those africans from doing that then i would but i can't so let's focus on what we can do right now we have actionable items right now to help create a better world so instead of focusing on that thing right that i literally cannot do anything about but if there's other people selling people as slaves anywhere in the world regardless of their skin that needs to be stopped, period. It is gross, it is terrible, and should not happen in our world when we have the opportunities to stop that from happening. But anyways, we're talking about getting seen 5K, and I want to see 5K, baby. I need to see that happen. And, uh, man, but I also need to see my boy Luis win, but I'm going to be honest, man. Big D is just handling business. I'm telling you, man, the power of unity, it's broken. It don't matter if you're a doctor, man. That privilege can't stop, man. My, 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 look at them, yo. They battling out here. This is what I like to see. Stand together. <laughs> I mean, look at, ooh, yeah. double defibrillator. Okay. Okay, you saying we're bringing them both alive. That's what I like to see, but for oh, Luis, oh, he's gone. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he's gone. Dude. <laughs> okay, Big D is actually ridiculous. Like, yeah, I agree. Dude, like, <laughs> this, like, I don't understand how literally Big D is going ahead and doing all these these things. Someone saying these these things are very Wi-Fi friendly. Did not know that. That's crazy. Yes, I love that. People selling people as slaves in 2020 sounds like the prison industrial complex. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of does. Maybe we should focus on that instead.